Hello everybody, Corn Cobb here, and welcome to episode 13 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. And today, we have a big project planned. I am going to try and make it to the nether. Now, this isn't necessarily too difficult. You don't really actually have to have diamonds to get a nether portal. That is the traditional way of going about it. You get your diamond pickaxe, you mine up your obsidian, and you build your portal. But a much simpler way of making a portal is to cast it, is I think the best term for it. I'll explain it a little better in just a moment. So I went ahead and made a second bucket because for this method, going back and forth with one bucket would be just painful. But basically, this is how it works. You'll have a bucket of water, and you'll have lava. I'm gonna say this is my lava bucket. It's clearly not, but hey, it works for the demonstration. Now, the way that obsidian is formed is whenever water touches the source block of lava. So, how I would do this is, say this is my lava bucket, I'd place that there, and then put water right there, and that would turn that to obsidian. And people use this to basically just build a portal. Now, I do already have five pieces of obsidian, I think, from the village that we found when we were looking for a dog. So we don't have to do quite as much as we normally would. Right there. So we have that five. And I think I want to figure out where to, I guess, plant my nether portal. I'll probably put it in the mine. And looks like we have a glowberry ready to harvest. I think I'm going to go ahead and plant that up here. And I just remembered to tell you guys, I have my window open again. So you may hear sounds just like the one that was just there. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I think I'm probably going to put the nether portal here in the mine somewhere. Probably, hmm, I think I'll stick it down here. It's a little bit far to go, but I don't have glowberries planted here, so I can actually put something in. Now the smallest a nether portal can be, as most of you probably know, is two by three. So at three high, two wide. It can be bigger. I don't know what the maximum size is, but I'm pretty sure it's quite large. And the thing about nether portals is sometimes things just kind of waltz right through from the nether. Like zombie pigmen, or I guess piglins now with the new update. And so it's nice to put it somewhere where it can be closed off so things can't just come out into the open. There. The rest of this portal will be cast in. And I think I may have found a use for the rest, well, at least for some of those stone bricks. I think they'll look pretty neat behind the portal. There we go. I think that'll look pretty interesting with the swirls from the portal distorting it. But now I'm going to put my water right here. Oh! Would you look at that? That's that's pure luck right there. I wasn't sure how much luck I had in this series, but I guess it may be going up now. I'll put the water there so that I can take two buckets of lava with me from wherever I get it. And for a more interesting video, I think I may source some of the lava from the cave and then go out in search of a lava pool, which as we learned a while back, are not quite as rare as they used to be. Huh, looks like I missed some iron last time. Ah. That's a problem. Not a big one. I don't know if I went way down here last time. Cause there's no torches. And I'm not sure I ever even went down to deep slate. There's also a lot of iron. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just gonna turn up my hostile mob sounds. Hopefully that will help keep me from getting caught unawares. 
Oh, I heard something. Spider. Okay, that's not fun. Okay, we got that now. Oh. There went my torch. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot more mobs this way. Maybe. Actually, never mind. It ends. That's nice, actually. <laughs> we all know how good I am with mobs. And that is to say, I'm not. <gasps> Axolot? No, fish! There's a bunch of tropical fish down here. That's cool. Is there an axolotl? I think there may be. Oh, never mind. The fish are all just falling to their deaths. Nice. Looks like we got a good deal of XP from that. <gasps> okay, that's not good. That's... Oh boy, okay. I don't know where he just went. And that terrifies me. I'm really regretting not bringing a shield with me now. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, we placed like- oh, that was an accident. <gasps> Heck. Okay. I know I'm walking past a lot right now, but it's always good to just go through and take care of mobs before and it's g sorry I lost my train of thought there it's always good to go through and light up the caves and take care of mobs before you go through them so that you don't get surprised later on I didn't bring any cooked food with me well Good enough. Okay, I think we're safe again. And there's plenty of food here to collect. So I'm gonna go back and get all the ores that I didn't get before. Uh, I think that can remain unexplored for now. That That's for later. And for those of you who don't know, this stuff, or I should say this tough, is what I was considering using for the floor in the barn. I may end up mixing some in, but I think it's probably good enough how it is with the andesite. I heard a zombie. Oh, I heard a baby zombie, I think. I really don't want to tangle with a baby zombie right now. Or ever, really. Those things have been known to take down even the most prepared Minecrafters. <gasps> Boys, we've done it. I have no clue how many I got, but I wasn't expecting to find any down here, honestly. I didn't know I'd get deep enough. I'm gonna do that thing where they dig around it to make sure there's no lava. Three, or two, three! Okay, I don't know if that's all I'm gonna get from it, but even if it is, I'll be content. Nice, okay. I think I'm gonna head up now and actually put these away because I do not want to risk the chance of losing them. I'm gonna get a few more glowberries first. Quest log updated. Make it home without dying. Those vines I think will get us up pretty high. <gasps> if I don't fall off of them. Okay, we're back to explored turf. I think we're probably just about out. And I think I'll pick up some coal because there's never a time where you don't end up needing coal. <gasps> okay, that's a problem. That's a big problem. That's not good at all. Okay. Not sure how I'm gonna solve that. I'll see if that's any use. It looks like I might have gotten one of them. 
And with any luck, that'll get the other one. Shoot. I think they know how to avoid the lava. Maybe. Never mind. Well, I'm going to hope that that was all of them, and I'm going to go back to the house. <laughs> now we can cast the next piece. And that's how that works. And that's how we'll build the rest of it. Now I think I may go and track down one of those other uh, lava pools from the dog episode. Alright, it took a little while, but I finally tracked down the piece of paper where I wrote down the coordinates of the lava pool. Well, I think the first lava pool we found. So, I'll go ahead and travel there now. Oh, great. They're inevitable. Well, this isn't actually the lava pool from before, but it is a lava pool. And I'm not going to say no to not having to walk 300 more blocks. Now for two more pieces. Then we'll just need two more buckets and we'll be set to go. And here we are. These are the last two pieces we should need. I think we'll do these ones side by side. There we go. Now I just need a flint and steel and we're set to go to the nether. So we have our flint and our steel. And there we go. I'm pretty sure this gets us an achievement. I don't see why it wouldn't. It doesn't get us an achievement? That's a bit of a disappointment, honestly. First things first, before I go into the nether, I am going to want to have a golden hat, or boots, either one. Probably boots, because it takes less gold. But yeah, I will want something gold to wear, because if you're not wearing gold, then piglins will attack you. Not zombified piglins, mind you, but it's still not a situation you want to be in. Well, we got our gold, and I'm just going to stick some things in here before we do anything more, because our inventory is a bit overstuffed at the moment. And I'm just going to go ahead and count logging as part of farming. You know, our mining chest is already getting a bit overstuffed, so I think that I'm going to make one for specifically ores and more refined materials. There. Anything refined-ish. And basically what I'm trying to do right now is dump out anything into these chests that I don't really need in the nether because it's pretty likely that I could die there. So it's always good to have insurance that you're not losing anything too valuable. I'm going to get some cobblestone because once I'm in the nether I can hopefully build that around and protect the portal. Yep, And I do have a flint and steel with me so all will be well if, well most will be well if the portal gets destroyed somehow. And by destroyed, I don't mean completely obliterated. <sighs> I'm rambling. Let's just go in already. Ooh, this is gonna be hard on my computer. Running OBS while generating the nether? Oof. It's hard enough just playing normally. Okay, there's the achievement I was waiting for. Yeah, I think I'll just sit still and let this generate for a minute. Whew. This is laggy. I don't even want to think about how this is going to look once I look at it on OBS. Or not OBS, but Shotcut. 
I hope it doesn't go freeze frame again like it did that one time. I can hear something. Not sure if it's a zombie piglin or just a normal piglin, but it's one of the two, I believe. I think I see... Oh, never mind. This is both zombies. All things considered, this is a pretty good nether spawn, really. It, it really could be worse. A lot worse. I've had spawns before where you're right next to a, a gas and out in the open, or the dreaded hanging above a lava pit. We got some pretty accessible glowstone up there, once we want to get to it. <gasps> okay, see this is why we build cobblestone walls. Because ghasts cannot destroy them. I don't know where the ghast is, but it sounds nearby. Well, I'd say that's pretty good for now. So I'm going to go off and see what's nearby. Ah. There he is. Oh. There he was, I guess. There's a piglin down there. A couple other ones too, it looks like. But I'm pretty sure that this biome of the nether basically just the good old classic nether is referred to as the nether wastes. And now to check out the other side. Yeah, pretty typical pre whatever the nether update was nether. I think if I ever want to go netherite mining down there will be the place to do it. Well, I'm not particularly interested in quartz and there's not much I want to do here until later. So I think I'm content with this level of exploration for now. Okay, we don't want to go back. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for leaving the dog cooped up in here all the time, but I really don't want him to die. For now, I think I'll include these in the refined materials because they're not really something you can get in the ordinary mines. Eventually I'll probably have a specific nether chest, but for now, it'll just be a bit of a tight squeeze in terms of storage. And I think that's about all I need from here for now. And then we might as well go and harvest our garden because I know that the wheat is just about full grown. And in addition, I'm gonna start up our potatoes. So first things first is harvesting the wheat. Oh, not again. Gosh darn it. I'm starting to think there's an outpost nearby or something, but I haven't seen anything super close on my travels. Now if push comes to shove and those guys see me, I can always just like wall myself into the barn and then attack them through the walls or something. But I'm just gonna hope that that doesn't end up being necessary. And now for the replant. I think I'm going to do kind of alternating potatoes and wheat, so this middle area, this middle level, I guess, will be potatoes, and we do only have 22 of them right now, so we probably couldn't fill up much more than just this. Yeah, that's all we can do, so everything else will be wheat. Now that that's been replanted, we will continue ignoring... And now that that's been planted, we will continue ignoring the illagers and breed the animals. <laughs> First up is the chickens. First thing I'll do is breed them. And then, I'll get out the eggs and multiply them. Or not. Okay. 
the cows will definitely be multiplied. And I realized belatedly that I should have turned down the creature noises. And then I find it good to stick some wheat in here in case I ever forget to bring some with me. And boy oh boy is this coming fast. Now I'll make everything else into bread. And then I'll get home and I'll actually pack away this raw meat. Because... Oh... Maybe I won't go home. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna sprint. Okay, yeah. They're not happy with me. And... Okay, we're safe. As I was saying... I will actually pack away the meat because I think that there are some villagers that you can trade raw meat with to get emeralds from and I'll definitely be getting a surplus of meat from the cows so I think I'm pretty well set in that regard. Now as a last hurrah I'm gonna try and take down the skeletons well, maybe. I have far less arrows than I thought I did. I'm also pretty sure I had a bow. They may actually be in the barn. Well, time to sprint back then, I guess. Oh, he's locked on. Okay, they're not in there. Okay, I'm gonna sprint back up to the house again. And then I'll try and get a bow and some arrows from the XP farm. After sleeping, of course. Aha! There's our arrows. Though I wouldn't mind having more. So I'll hang out here for a little while and see you once I have enough arrows to make me feel more secure. Now I'm going to hopefully make it so I can't be seen anymore. Even on the corners. Okay, that, that should keep me safe, I hope. Nope, okay, that still that isn't helpful. I thought that'd work. Well, this thing's working kind of slowly and this is probably enough arrows, so I'm just gonna go right on down and hopefully take out those illagers. Well, the real hope is that they're gone by now, but that's pretty unlikely. And I've stranded myself up here. <sighs> Gotta break through the tree. Oh, yes. I think they're gone. Honestly, I'm glad. Like, in other, in other circumstances, I may be disappointed. But I'm glad I don't have to deal with those guys. Well, we've done a lot today, guys. We've started our potatoes growing over there. We got a nether portal. We did more exploring of the lush caves and found diamonds. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do next time. But I'm sure it'll be just as good as this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you stick around for the next one. Bye!